Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms and uh, starting to kind of get caught up a little bit around here where I can make some videos again. And uh, one thing since uh, I've put many of the videos out that we decided to do was to add a small pool to the farm. We had an above ground pool. It was just one of those uh, cheap Walmart, big box store, like Intex pools, best way, whatever you want to call them. And uh, it just, uh, it was all right. I mean, we got the biggest one that they sold and it was nice, but it was hard to keep it clean. Uh, I think that might've been part of the filter that we had on it. We had a big sand filter and uh, I'm working on that right now, actually. But uh, anyway, we got rid of it. The idea we were gonna put a in-ground pool in, one of those fiberglass ones. We've had them in the past and they're great. I love them. And I went out, I made it, I uh, priced them out, was getting ready to pull the trigger on one, COVID hit, and my $26,000 pool became a uh, $64,000 pool. So we decided we're gonna hold off. So we've been about two, three years with no pool here at the farm. And uh, I was in Tractor Supply the other day. They're switching here in Missouri from Orchlands to Tractor Supply. They bought out Orchlands. And uh, they're clearing out a lot of stuff. If you've got an Orchlands that's going, watch them. I bought a new hay ring for the livestock for, I think, like 140 bucks, 130 bucks. That uh, uh, it's a real nice one. They were about 300 bucks before they started clearancing them. So. Uh, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I was going to buy one this fall. And when I went to pick it up, I noticed that they had a bunch of stock tanks sitting in there. And I asked the manager and they had a, a eight foot one. Normally it had been like $6.99. It was uh, under $200. So I'm like, you know what? I've seen some videos some people do these cowboy pools, these uh, stock tank pools. So we're in the process of building one and you're going to see a video on it. But today... Uh, kind of talking about this pump a little bit and mainly how to swap out a, uh, uh, I think it's called a GCFI. I'll have to look it up and, and see, but uh, these outlets that the pools, the hot tubs, a lot of stuff come with. They've got the annoying uh, little button that trips all the time. And uh, especially once they get old and you got to figure out why it keeps tripping. So when I got this, this was the pump we had from the other pool. And I got it up, I, uh, I clean, I've cleaned everything up, I gotta go get the sand filter for it, and I've got some different media we're gonna use in it for filtering and see if it works better. But uh, the first thing I did when I got it is uh, it, it's been sitting in the barn about four or five years and the plug was missing on it. There was just bare wires so I went and bought this, uh, Amazon has them. I'll put a link at the bottom of the page. And these are really easy to rewire. If you know anything about electrical, even if you don't, uh, they're really simple. And anything with electric, always kind of think of it as water. It's got to flow one way, it can't flow the other way. And that's, that's how, you know, how your lines are. And that's how, how this is. You've got a positive and a negative, And in this case, you've got a third one that helps uh, make a trip on you all the time when uh, you least want it to. But to install one of these, you've got two screws right here. So you're gonna take those screws out. I'm gonna put down the camera for a second and take them out and I'll show you what you do on the inside. Okay, so I got the cover off. Like I said, it was just two screws. They give you these little things right here uh, to kinda, kinda keep it watertight in there, or at least somewhat. But everything's color-coded. You've got three screws in here. I had to redo my pressure washer recently, and it was just two, so it was, you know, even easier. But it comes with a thing, and it'll tell you what color goes to what. Like, uh, it said green goes to green. As you can see, this is green. White goes to the silver or white, whatever you want to call it. And then your black is going to go to yellow in this case. And uh, you just strip the wires, slide them, uh, undo these screws, slide them in there, clamp these screws down, and put the cover on. It's that simple. I mean, if you got one that needs, you know, needs a new plug, and this isn't just for these pumps. Like I said, I've got, I've got uh, 
an inflatable hot tub uh, until we get the regular hot tub back on. We're enjoying that here on the farm. And it's got the same thing. I've had a couple uh, a couple things. Even my pressure washer, like I said, was the same thing. And uh, over time, these plugs do kind of wear out. I think I've replaced the one on this pump. This, this will be the third time that I've replaced it in several years. The other thing with these pumps, too, if uh, you're looking at it for one of these pumps, they're pretty easy to redo. I've had to replace this switch, rewire it. Uh, when I got it out of the barn, it wouldn't spin. So uh, I took the bolts off here, pulled it apart, little white plastic piece in there. And once I plugged it in, I just gave it a little turn and it freed itself up. It was just you know, tired from sitting. And uh, cleaned it up real good. Plus, I think for $20 I got on Amazon. And I'm going to put a link to, to it as well. I got all the gaskets. I was missing a plug down here. And so it included that plug, it included the plug that goes with this, which I still have. And uh, pretty much a kit to rebuild it. We've got a sand filter we're going to put on, and instead of sand, uh, I've got some other media. It's kind of like a fiber, like a cotton kind of stuff, these big cotton balls. And uh, you run it for so long, and then once the pool gets, you know, it's not working, you just take them out, throw them in the, dish wa or in the clothes washer, and throw them back in. So I, and I'm going to go into detail on that as uh, we're getting on the pool. Uh, I'm just kind of getting back to getting videos because I've been out of town. It's been a hundred and some heat index with a hundred percent humidity here. So most work was about 15 minutes outside and then coming in. We've had a drought and then plus I've just had so much equipment breakdown. So now that we're back, uh, you know, we're going to get some videos out here and Hopefully, uh, I won't have equipment breaking down as much, but uh, hopefully if you got one that uh, you need to replace the plug or it's acting up or it's ripped off or fallen off, uh, you know, hopefully this helped you. And, you know, if you enjoy the videos, please consider subscribing, leave a comment, uh, give us a thumbs up. Always appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. Uh, if you have any questions on this, uh, you know, I'm always uh, happy to talk to anyone. If you look on my page under the About section, my email address is on there. I check it. I'm not great at checking it, but every, at least every two days, I kind of check it. So, uh, you know, if you're thinking about doing this and for some reason you can't figure out how to line up green to green and, and all that, and you're like, hey, how do I do this? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to help you or you know, on the pump, or if you got some ideas for stock tank pools, uh, we're getting ready to do one. We're going to do a good bit of landscaping here uh, in the coming months, and uh, always happy to look at other people's ideas. It's Matt from McGee Farms. Till next time, have a great day.